Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay and welcome to The Ship Life. So while I'm visiting the cruise port of Costa Maya, Mexico today, it appears that two cruise ships that were scheduled to show up have it. What's going on? Royal Caribbean has announced the name of their newest ship and you're going to be excited because it's going to be the next largest ship in the world. Also, we got to talk about a big change Carnival Cruise Lines just made because, well, a lot of people are not happy. Let's go. So I got to be honest with all of you, I'm a little angry while I'm on board Odyssey of the Seas. Nothing major, it's just the Wi-Fi sucks just like it did on Wonder of the Seas. Now, when I was on Wonder of the Seas for the inaugural sailing, I had the assumption that maybe since it was the inaugural sailing, maybe they're working out the Wi-Fi kinks, or maybe the situation that since so many bloggers were on board, that's why the Wi-Fi was horrible. But no, they advertise it as the best Wi-Fi at sea over here with the Voom package, and Wi-Fi, again, still not that great, taking me 8 to 10 hours to upload a video. So guys, I do apologize, I know a lot of you have been asking for vlogs, but I'm uploading as quickly as I can. But anyway, I do have some cruise news tea out here on the seven seas. I am currently docked over here at Costa Maya, Mexico, but we're the only ship here, and that was not supposed to be the plan. So upon arrival, we saw what was believed to be an NCL ship. I come to now find out that it was the NCL Joy that was booking it in the opposite direction. When the ship was supposed to be docked here before us at 8 a.m., we got here at around 10 a.m., it is now 11 a.m. However, there's also another ship, Royal Caribbean's Jewel of the Seas, that was supposed to be also docked here at 8 a.m. Neither one of them are here. Now, as you can see from my balcony, it is pretty choppy out there. So maybe weather could potentially be a factor as to why Jewel of the Seas and the NCL Joy did not come to port in Costa Maya today. However, just keep in mind, the NCL Joy was leaving when we were arriving. So if the water was that bad, then we would have docked there ourselves as well. So who knows, it could be maybe they're having issues with the ship. We know a lot of ships out there right now. Well, not a lot. There's the NCL Dawn, and then we have the Escape that are having some damage and propulsion issues. We saw the Carnival Horizon a couple months ago had issues. So who knows at this point? Either way, guys, I'm going to keep my ears to the ground, talk to whoever I can, and I'll let all of you know what's going on. But as of right now, we're the only ship. Now, since I'm sailing on a Royal Caribbean ship currently, I do have to talk about some exciting Royal Caribbean news. They have just come out and announced and confirmed the sixth Oasis class ship. The name will be Utopia of the Seas. Now, I'll be honest with you, I like the name Utopia. However, it doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. However, I'm sure it'll catch on eventually. If you guys feel the same way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, this will be, after Wonder of the Seas, currently the largest ship on planet Earth, this ship, Utopia of the Seas, will then in 2024, May 2024, be the largest ship in the world. Now, here's the kicker to this. You have Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas that can hold just under 7,000 passengers of double occupancy. This one, however, can hold 5,700 passengers. So how is it the largest cruise ship or will be the largest cruise ship on planet Earth if it can house less passengers or guests compared to the current largest ship, Wonder of the Seas? Well, they had to get rid of 50 cabins because the ship will be LNG powered. It's a more environmental friendly fueling system that they'll be using on board the ship. Either way, this is great. The ship will be constructed in St. Nazaire shipyard, like I said, May 2024. Now, I will be going over to the shipyard at some point. I did go over there last year to St. Nazaire over in France to go check out Wonder of the Seas while it was being constructed. And they did have some parts laying around and they said they were getting ready to start the building process of a brand new Royal Caribbean ship the following week after after they finished Wonder. So I'm gonna go over there, dig around a little bit, and since my girlfriend's French, I can go get some tea for all of you and I'll be reporting back to you. All the reason for you guys to subscribe to the channel, that way you can stay updated whenever I post these videos. Now finally, we gotta go over what is arguably the talk of the town right now, the hysteria going on with Carnival increasing its gratuity rates. But before we do guys, just remember, of course, hit that like button. And of course, remember that this channel is now sponsored by Touring Plans. Whether you need to book a cruise or you need to go to a resort, any theme park like Universal, Disney, make sure you check out Touring Plans. I'm telling you, they will get you right. They spend millions every single year on research alone to make sure you guys are good. And they also have technology that can tell you how to get around the park quickly and efficiently and of course find the shortest possible wait times in lines restaurants anything of that nature now anyway when it comes to carnival cruise lines they recently increased their gratuity rate from 1450 to 1650 when it comes to standard cabins and a lot of people are not happy about this now just to give you a perspective you're talking about an average seven day cruise originally you'd pay per day again the 1450 70 times that you get around 101 dollars now with the 1650 it'll be about 115 
$15 additional to your cruise fare. Now, I know it does kind of suck to have to lose money, and I'm going to try to play devil's advocate here and look at both sides objectively. We get a lot when we book a cruise. We all know that. Now, Carnival is justifying the price increase by saying that it is in order to help the crew members because a lot of them during the pandemic, as we all know, were home for months and months and months, and, well, they didn't make any money. And, but at the same time, we do know the cruise lines also didn't make any money. So, yes, that is a fair argument, and of course that is uh, understandable, so to speak, to a certain extent, but at the same time, nobody likes losing money, and you have a lot of people that have been loyal to Carnival that say, well, you know, we're already paying whenever we buy drinks and we get the drink package, even though with Carnival, in case you guys weren't aware, you get a limit of 15 drinks. Now, when I was on the inaugural sailing for the Carnival Mardi Gras, the limit was 10 drinks, and once you hit that cap, no matter if you wanted to pay more, you were done. However, here with Royal Caribbean, when you buy the drink package, you get as much as you want. You can drink, 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 drink. Carnival's name for their drink package, by the way, is the Cheers Package. But let's just say people aren't very cheerful when they find out that there's limitations on what they can drink and when they have to pay 18% gratuity on top of the general gratuity raise, raise hike that you're seeing right now. But honestly, guys, it, it's kind of hard to try to uh, form like an opinion on this for me because as a former crew member, I look at both sides of it. I do believe, yes, we, we do pay a lot but we also get a lot when it comes from the cruising standpoint. And of course, we do enjoy our vacations. But naturally, none of us like changes, especially when they're changes where we got to pay more money, even if it is to help somebody else out. Either way, guys, I probably will talk about this later on down the road. But I do, of course, want to hear your thoughts on this in the comment section below. This is going to be my cruise news for today. I'm going to get ready to go out and enjoy some Costa Maya. Well, after I get some work done because I finally have Wi-Fi. So I got a couple videos coming out. I do have a review of Wonderland here on Honestly of the sea so be on the lookout for that guys just know i appreciate you again check out our sponsor touring plans you will not be disappointed love you guys i'll see you soon take it easy